So just for curiosity, I went ahead and uh, put the hose back on just to see with that steam if this one lens is capable of doing it. And even though there's steam coming out of there, it's really not enough to do uh, to do what we were doing before. So we were probably having a nice steam pool before. We're gonna we're gonna use this as a steam boiler and drive a larger steam engine in the future. So. There's nothing coming in there, even though it looks like, ouch, even though it looks like this. Right there, so it is almost seven o'clock right now. The sun is almost totally setting. And just from that one area right there, this is what we have going on inside. There we go, turn the light back. So that's what that one Fresnel lens is doing. I think that's pretty impressive. So it doesn't really matter what part of the world you live in. If the sun is like this at 12 noon where you live because you're far away from the equator, it's actually a good thing because you can actually side heat your projects really well. The only time you really need to be directly over your project is if you're working with melting glass for sculptures or metal or that sort of thing because it just works better. But I'm gonna go ahead and finish, put everything up. I thought you guys would enjoy that to see what was going on inside. You can see we used up, uh, this was full to the rim, so we did probably, eh, we did probably a half a gallon of water. But we did keep it boiling all day. All right, the next step that I'm going to do in the next video is run some uh, voltage tests on the, uh, the water. That way we can see what the salinity of both the two different waters were. And uh, got to get a new thermometer. That one's shot. Now, I am curious to see how that water tastes. Even though there's some vintage Coca-Cola syrup in there, I got to see if it's salty. All right, I got the tank here. It's cooled down a lot. And... Oh boy, how am I going to try and splash a little bit of this in? There we go. There's, oh, yeah. oh boy. There's about probably 32 ounces in here. Let's see. There's virtually no salty taste to it at all. It tastes like warm water with a little Coca-Cola syrup actually. That is wild. Man, that syrup's 10 years old, yeah. Well. So it seems to have worked pretty well. Now, we just need to speed the process up a lot for a future video, but you know, this is a preliminary thing. We did get five gallons of water to stay boiling for four hours. And uh, that was very impressive. And you could see what just one Fresnel lens was doing towards the evening time. So because we live close to the equator, well, not close to it, but relatively close compared to a lot of people in northern states, the sun was directly overhead and the project just, it was worthless when it's directly overhead. So one more thing, the white stuff around this cap, I don't know if it's focusing properly, but that is pure sea salt and the stuff that went through the pipe, salt never made it. I'm gonna check the inside of that first loop to see if that captured some salt too, because some of this should have came up with the steam, but it didn't. Well, you guys take care. Thanks a lot for watching. see find the spot right there
This is a five gallon Cornelius keg. It's stainless steel and we're gonna be using this for our project. I'm Rojas and I'm here in sunny Tampa Bay. We're here to collect some salt water for our motorcycles a mile away. You believe that Come on, Dan. Just do it. Wait the motorcycle goes trying to desalinate this using the Fresnel lenses in sunlight. This is a five-gallon Cornelius keg, and it actually is stainless steel, so we're going to be using this for our project. I'm your host Dan Rojas and I'm here in sunny Tampa Bay to collect some seawater. We have a five gallon Cornelius keg that's made out of stainless steel. Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I'm here in sunny Tampa Bay. One more time. Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and I'm here in sunny Tampa Bay to collect some seawater. We have a five gallon Cornelius keg that's made out of stainless steel. We're going to be getting some seawater to take back. We're going to be using Fresnel lenses to try and desalinate the water using sunlight. It's amazing when you pay attention to noises. 